Cluedo book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? It has nothing to do with Cluedo. So, um, so what you've got is four counters, a die, you have a pack of questions, you also have um, red cards and multicolour cards essentially with references on them, a complete reference. You've got two that are a book and two that are a journal. What you need to f go, go. Um, the colours that we've used on these cards correspond with the, the uh, counter counters. as well. So whichever counter is that's the colour that you've got. So you need to throw the die and then whatever number you land on, you obviously move to it. So if I landed on um, four or three for example, I'd move over to the queue here, and then obviously I'd have to pick up a question. So the question cards are Answer the question on here. They're all referencing questions, but I suppose the thing with this is you could have any type of question. It all depends on what the focus of this session is. Um, so you ask the question, or the person next to you asks the question, and then if you get the answer right, you pick up a corresponding coloured card, which okay, so would be blue with that. So I pick up one of these. So the idea is that you continually build, you answer questions, get them right, build up as many cards as possible so you get a complete reference. Once you've got the of course, there are other uh, questions on here as well. So, for example, if I was to land on what we're calling a chance square, it essentially says things like, uh, you bring your books back on time, move two spaces. So you've moved two spaces. We've also got other ones which are punitive as well, such as you were caught eating fish and chips in the library, you move back to start. <laughs> the idea is you keep on going round and round in circles until you have a complete reference. Mm. I think that's everything. Yeah, and you'd play the game after you've maybe done an initial presentation on referencing. So it'd be to sort of consolidate what was learned in the session. And some of them what we call chance squares, they're not necessarily related to references, but they sort of tie in with other library-related behaviours, if you like, so there's an extra element to it that way. Yeah. We called it ref do because the idea was once you'd got your... Reference completed. You chat ref do. That's it. Thank you. Any questions or comments for this group? Is there a, is there a limit on how many people can play? We put four initially, but maybe you could have six. Depends how much time you've got in a session. We have things like um, define plagiarism, yeah. so you'd have to answer that. And who would actually verify the answer? Well, that's there the would back. be an answer on the oh, back. On the back right. yeah. But if they got it wrong, they, they don't they pick up a, an they element of the reference, and they just have to wait until their next wrong. turn. But we've got things like which are multiple choice. We've also got ones which are, are just general answers, so you'd have to give a specific answer. Yeah. So that you can play around with the end. You can actually ask the same thing in multiple different ways. So mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Any other comments or questions? No?